In this problem, we are subtracting two fractions. Whenever you're subtracting two fractions, you want to ensure that you have the same denominator. Why? Because that's the only way you can actually operate on the numerators. Looking at the options, we can clearly see that 12xy will be the LCM of 4x and 6y because they all have 12xy. In case you didn't know this, let's look at how they got a 12xy. The LCM of the coefficients, 4 and 6, is 12 because 12 is the lowest number that 6 and 4 can enter without a remainder. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, just keep adding 6, 24, and so forth. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so forth. Now, we have common multiples here between 6 and 4. We see that 24 is a common multiple to both. 12 is also a common multiple to both, and we have many more. But the lowest one is actually 12. We call this the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4. And so the LCM of 6 and 4 of the coefficients of the terms is 12. And since you want to be able to divide the LCM by each denominator, we want to ensure that you have the variable x involved and the variable y involved. So you'll be able to cancel out the denominator. When you divide 12xy by 4x, and when you divide 12xy by 6y. But remember, you don't go finding the LCM since they're all the same in each option. That will take away from the time that you have remaining. So what you'll do, you'll take the LCM of 12xy and divide by the first denominator. And so 12xy divided by 4x will give us, let's cancel the x's, x into x goes once. Now 4 into 4 goes once and 4 into 12 three times. Now we have remaining 3 times y, which is 3y. We take the 3y and we multiply it by the corresponding numerator. So 3y times 3 will give us 9y. Already it looks like the answer is going to be a. Now let's look at dividing the LCM 12xy by 6y. 12xy divided by 6y. y into y goes once and y into y goes once. 6 into 6 goes once and 6 into 12 goes twice or 2 times. 2 times x leaves us with 2x. We're going to multiply that result that we got by 2. So 2x times 2 will give us 4x. And so 9y minus 4x will be the solution in the numerator. We cannot take 4x from 9y since they are unlike terms. And therefore, so our solution will be 9y minus 4x over 12xy.